I'm on a, I'm on a kind of a weird phase right now. Like I'm on Go a on. nostalgia vibe kind of. Like I've been for some reason I've just been listening to music that I used to listen to like for example, Akon, Beautiful Girls, like that's like You're two on the buzzer. old yeah. school R and B yeah. classic vibes. <laughs> It's your boy, I'm Philly, and we are back with another one. This one is Pavement to Pitch. Uh, before we start this one, please make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and turn on that little notification bell because it lets you, I always do this, but you lot know the drill by now. Just press the bell so you can get notified when we upload a new video. Um, all right, cool, bro. So this one, I, I like these interviews, man. I get to know you as, as, as a player on and off the pitch. Yeah. Um, I just want to start by asking, how did it all start? Um, Where did it start? Sunday league? Like, how, how did it happen? When did you get yeah, started? Yeah, Sun, Sunday league. Like, I just remember my mum my and dad always told me, like, as a kid, I just had so much energy. And it's like they needed a way to, to get that energy away from them in the house and stuff like that because it was mental sometimes. So, like, I think when I was like, in year, year one, I just, like, started kicking a ball about and I just, like, really enjoyed it. And then from there, like, my dad just kind of, like, Start helping me with football and stuff, so I started joining like local park teams and stuff. Nice. And then um, I got signed up for Edmonton All Stars, my local team, um, and, like under sevens. Why is it these Sunday league teams <laughs> always have these mad names? Like, All Stars <laughs> at the end of the team. Like, no. um, but yeah, and then from that, like, I spent like two years there, and then um, got picked up by Spurs, and then been oh, there. You've been there all your life. Yeah, since I was ten. Uh, to be fair. I've, I went and tried other teams. I went Arsenal, went Chelsea, it didn't work out. But then obviously I went Tottenham and it. So, yeah. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> the, what, what position did you start off in? When I, when I tend to like interview players, they always like, some tend to start as strikers and yeah. they just work their way like back that, towards, yeah, you know no, what I mean? So like, was I'm, that the same with you? Same with me. I was a, I was a right winger. <laughs> oh, then um, kind of got shifted into midfield and then um, went to Tottenham. And then I remember my first game was against Arsenal and like, I just remember because obviously they released me, I just thought, you know what, I've got to show them that, you know, you lot shouldn't have done that. So I just went around smashing everyone. No <laughs> then, way. Um, like the, the coach was like, you know what, we need you at centre back. So literally since then I've been a defender. Did you, at that point though, you see when the coach made that decision, was you a bit bugged or was you just happy that you were still nah, in yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, at, I'm 10, I don't, I don't care, man. Yeah, as long yeah, as I'm yeah. a football team, I get kit, boots. You know, yeah, you obviously, gassed. yeah. <laughs> something you didn't get a Sunday league. I was like, bro, I'll play for Tottenham. So, yeah, so it didn't, it didn't, it didn't really phase me or anything. So, talk to me about that, 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 the first time you ever made your debut. Who was it against? Was there nerves? Was you yeah. excited? Funny enough, it was um, professionally, like my like professional one was. Uh, so, I went pre season with the first team, and that's when I made like my debut in the pre season games against Juventus. And then, Mental. Matt, yeah. Was that the first team you played against? Yeah, that was the first professional. Like, was that when Ronaldo was there? Yeah, Ronaldo, Higuain, Mandzukic. Like, it was crazy for me. I remember like, my agent even sent me a picture of it, like seeing that like, reminiscing of the time. Like, literally, I'm literally staring at Booth on that in awe because like, I've never seen him before. It was amazing. So that, how does that work though? What, do you find out the night before you're going to be playing? Or is it like a case of on a day just picks the team? Um, I think it depends on what the, um, how the manager you know, approaches it. You know, some on the day, some two days before, some the day before. Um, that game I found out on the day. So I didn't think I was going to play. I literally just saw my name on the team. So I was like, oh, wow. Was so, you nervous? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Like, very, very, very nervous. I feel like now that we've mentioned those like those those giant names in football, who, who's been the toughest opponent to play against? Um, I got, I'll probably say I got three. Um, I think everyone everyone knows this one. I think everyone will say it probably at Dharma Traore. Yeah, okay. has a handful, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mane. Definitely. Uh, oh, yeah, um, yeah, ridiculous, man. Um, and one that might surprise people, but I've, I think people are going to see it. And I think people probably have seen it. And uh, I think that's a saw from Watford. Relentless, man. Yeah. Serious. Yeah, very, very good player. Yeah, he's very been similar. Yeah, yeah, very well. similar to Marnie, like direct. But nah, he's very good. So talk to me about like the transition of like being in, in with the 18s and the 23s on a regular basis. And then now, like, being a solid part of the first team. Yeah. What was that like? What was that experience like? Um, it's very different. So I think 18s, 23s, I think as much as you are a team, you're kind of individual because it's like, you're trying to make that breakthrough. So you have people wanting to do their own thing. With the first team, it's, it's one objective. Like you're trying to win. Um, you're trying to win a trophy, especially Spurs where, you know, we're trying to 
win something since we never won anything since 2008. So like everyone's mindset is that everyone's just trying to win. Everyone's trying to you know be the best, and for you to be the best, you got to work together. So for me, it was understanding the you know say I'm not playing, I can't be annoyed, I can't be upset because. I got to, you know, help out the starters and stuff. Like Whereas 23s, 18s, maybe you, it's not good, but you can afford to because it's like you're kind of thinking about yourself. Yeah. So that transition is is what is, um, is what I've learned from it. You know, just kind of not being selfish. You can be selfish, but being unselfish as well because you know you need your team to win. So that kind of that transition is uh, is what I've learned. So in your career so far, what would you say is the biggest highlight? What are you most proud of? Um. I think definitely for me uh, playing in the Premier League, I think making my debut uh, against Liverpool. Um, yeah, they were the it's champions. It's not easy, yeah, yeah, nah. your debuts have been crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, for the manager to put me in a game of that magnitude is, is crazy. You know, and um, honestly, I'll never, never forget that day. Never. Was your family in there? In that yeah, man. Uh, my dad was there. Uh, my, my my boy was there as well. My mum couldn't make it. She went church instead. Oh, you know, I respect her. Yeah, she respect she doesn't like watching me play football. To be honest, no. like, she doesn't feel. Why? It's, it's not a fight you're having. It's yeah, not I know, UFC. but it's just like she doesn't. You know, she, it's not pleasing in the eye to her in terms of like seeing her son like going to challenges and okay, stuff like that. Enough. So she's a bit. She just asks me how was the game and stuff like that. But. Um, yeah, my dad was there, my agent was there, um, my girlfriend was watching on TV and stuff, and Sick. so like everyone was just there supporting me, and it was a, it was a great day. Even though we lost, like like I said, I've said before, it's a bit of sweet because I made my debut. You know, something I've been dreaming about since I started playing football. But obviously, we lost, and uh, that was a disappointing bit. Asked about the toughest player you um you, you you you've played against. Who would you say is the best player you played with? I'd say at Spurs or even for a different team. Who have you just looked at and gone, wow, man, that guy's gifted. I'd say Musa Dembele. Yeah. yeah. Like in training, it's am- and then what I've seen in training, then he does it on the pitch. Like it's like it's crazy. For like real? when he, he's, he's so sick. That one surprised yeah, me. Yeah, no, honestly, and like he's obviously Harry Kane as well. Yeah. Ding Son, those up there, like Tang and Dembele. You know, we call him Dumbula. That's, that's is it? Yeah, yeah Dumbula. Yeah. That is a sick yeah. name, Dumbula. <laughs> yeah. Like honestly, Kole. But for me, Musa Dembele, man. Like, like, I'm thinking about it, like the quality, man. Like you're just crazy. you're reminiscing yeah. on stuff he's done, in it. I yeah, just say be, being a defender, like sometimes you know when you're getting pressed and it's like you need a pass. It don't matter where he is on the pitch, you can give it to him. He's getting out of it. Like he's just so strong, so good with his feet, fast. Like honestly. Like Sick. a Yaya Torre in yeah. his prime. I remember yeah. that time. Yeah. Like, oh Torre, I might see. He was moving nuts at one point. <laughs> um, talk to me uh, off the pitch. Um, what is it you like to do? You know what I mean? What are you into music? Um, you into fashion? Do you like going out to eat? Funny, I'm a plain Jane, man. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty simple. Like for me, football takes a lot out of me. You know, it, like it's a, it exerts a lot of energy. So for me, when I get home, I normally just chill, watch some TV, Netflix, movies, um, PS. So that's kind of me. Obviously, here and there, like what games to you play on, on PS? FIFA, Pro Clubs. I clubs is lit. I please, what's I know everyone's got a funny club's name. What's your club's name? <laughs> No rooms for error. See, no room. <laughs> Everyone's got a funny name for clubs. What is mine? I can't even remember. Ballers first or something like yeah. that. Or, keep, or on the ground. We've made so many. You know yeah, when your so, record yeah, gets yeah, dead, you start making new, new ones. ones. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we're on at the moment. <laughs> um, cool. Talk to me about music, man. What sort of music are you into? Do you tend to listen more to like US artists? Is it UK? Um, I'm on. A, I'm on a kind of a weird phase right now. Like, I'm on Go a. On nostalgia vibe kind of like I've been for some reason I've just been listening to music that I used to listen to like for example Akon Beautiful Girls like that's like you're on the old yeah. school R&B classic yeah. vibes that's, I'm, I'm kind of taking it back you know obviously here and then like obviously Drake's album's just dropped like even that I haven't even heard it I've heard one song and that's yeah, the way too the sexy yeah. <laughs> um, but um, even like Kanye's done that like, I haven't taken in because I've just been like listening to like music back in the days and stuff just like nostalgia feeling and stuff so, but yeah, I listen to that. Like, I've been listening to Dave's album. I can't oh, lie, Dave is a different level, man. Yeah, man. Um, that album's really good. I'm, I'm waiting for that concert, man. I've got the tickets. I'm oh, ready is it? To yeah, go, you got man. the tickets. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to go, man. Um, Clash, the dance, all of that. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. I'm on, yeah. I'm on Dave. I've been listening to Dave from from young though, like early when he made um, uh, his mix first mixtape and like Tiago Silva and stuff like okay, that. Okay, like, okay. But like, it's good to see like all the, the transition, transition isn't it? yeah, man. He's doing good, man. So. Talk to me stadiums. I like asking this question. I always get some interesting answers because I, I feel like everyone assumes the answer is always going to be a big club. But what would you say the toughest stadium has been for you to play in? Um, 
I know you said the big club one, but I have to say Chelsea. Chelsea's Chelsea's tough, yeah. yeah. Chelsea is a uh, is a very tough place. Um, the crowd are. <laughs> uh, can't really go to yeah go into too much detail with that one, but the crowd are they're they're immense. Yeah, um, like, it's a tough place, and obviously they're a good team as well. So it's like you really feel like it's just pressure. Do you know what? another one I got to bring up? Twice we played there already, and the red is like crazy. And I have to say Wolves. Yeah. yeah, Wolves, Wolves I'm is telling there. you, yeah. it's the the, the, yeah, clubs. the the clubs that you don't think. Yeah, that enough, but Wolves is Wolves is tough. Wolves is tough. All right, cool. So obviously it's mad atmosphere, but it must be nice like having the fans back. Yeah, um, definitely. I think from even for for us, the first game, City. I think um, I'm not saying if the fans weren't there, we don't play as well. But I think we, they were our top man. You know, we felt that extra push and. You know, when we were digging in, they were, you know, cheering us on. They really make a difference, yeah. yeah? No, big, big difference. I think they, um, they, they just give you that, that, that factor to just keep going. Even sometimes the away fans, you know, like you know when they're chatting against you, booing you and stuff like that, it kind of gives you like, okay, carry on, carry on. Like, I want it. Yeah. So like, um, no, it's great to have the fans. Obviously, like I said, we missed them. You know, we were obviously what's going on with COVID and stuff, but it's just great to have them back. And uh, yeah, that's all good. Uh, but yeah, brother, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. I remember watching you on the Spurs documentary and I feel like you come across in that amazing. Um, and that's how I discovered you, man. And now look at you, bro. You've just gone from strength to strength. All well, glory to God, bro. I wish you nothing but the best. With that being said, I've been Young Philly. Uh, we are over and out. Please make sure you comment, like, subscribe, turn on that little bell because it lets you know when we've uploaded a video. Take care.